Some big changes could be coming to the Denver Broncos offseason program. I want to bring in this tweet from Tom Pelissero. It is a new proposal from the NFL Players Association. They are working to finalize a proposal to overhaul the offseason starting as soon as 2025, eliminating voluntary on-field work in the spring in favor of a longer training camp ramp up with players reporting in mid-June to early July. Apparently, the union has been seeking feedback on this plan from players, and a majority of them support the change, and a formal proposal is expected this summer. Under new leadership, the NFLPA has consulted medical and performance experts in hopes of creating a common-sense solution for reducing injuries and maximizing players' recovery time. Virtual classroom work would still be permitted in the spring, but no practice until camp. I can see some positives and I can see some negatives to this. The positives that I can see are the players aren't putting themselves on the field and risking injury early on. However, I can also see some negatives that include younger players losing out on opportunities to make an impression and in turn make the roster. A lot of young players, especially undrafted free agents, they make the roster in May when they show out during OTA's rookie minicamp. Sure, their training camp performances will help. Note one Jaleel McLaughlin from Denver last year is just an example. But those guys make their initial impressions during the workouts in May and June. This is a lost opportunity for certain young players who are fighting to make the roster. The other negative that I could see from this is players would be poorly conditioned by the time we do get to the um, training camp period in June. So that would possibly lead to more soft tissue injuries and other ligament injuries right out the gate. Apparently the NFLPA is trying to reduce injuries here, so I don't know if this would be counterintuitive and maybe end up causing more injuries in an effort to reduce injuries, if that makes any sense. Also, bringing in this last part of the tweet right here from Tom Pelissero, the NFLPA push for a revised offseason isn't directly tied to an 18-game season. However, it's worth noting a longer schedule would further shorten the time between the season and training camp. Another reason consolidating players' time off into one long break would make sense. Again, man, I feel like the current structure is... Sound. I don't see any issues with the mandatory rookie mini camps right after the draft and then OTAs and mandatory mini camp through May and June. Players will then have that break between mini camp and training camp in uh, mid July. If anything, maybe move training camp up to um, like July 15th as opposed to July 20th, July 25th. That's the usual area where training camps start for teams that don't have rookie head coaches. I would be a proponent of that. I just don't think that there's benefit here to this. I think that you're risking further injuries. Maybe again, you could find some sort of middle ground where you eliminate maybe the mandatory mini camp period OTAs should could maybe uh, be moved back. I think there are just several different ways that you could restructure this and make it make more sense and not have players come in during one bulk period and have to take in all that information and in turn put younger players who are trying to make the roster at a disadvantage. That's just how I see it. But there are much smarter guys than I am who are hired to make these decisions and take everything into account. So we'll see how this ends up. I know as somebody who covers the team, I would enjoy a longer training camp. I would enjoy getting to go to more practices out at uh, Dove Valley. I would enjoy that. But I'm trying to take this into account from, play from a player's perspective. And... If players support it, then I'm all for it, but I can also see some drawbacks and some negatives to it. All right, Broncos country, I am curious about your thoughts on this. Do you feel like a longer training camp and a shorter off-season period would benefit or be to the detriment of players? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it, guys. We are getting closer and closer to 3,500 subscribers. We need just 75 to get there and I truly believe we can by the end of the week. Alright guys and until next time I'm your host Gage Madrid saying peace out.